what's going on guys hey i want to drop into the topic on you guys i've been thinking about uh kind of been developing over the years man uh a lot of people lately have been comparing the nfl star to the nba star uh, my whole mindset's always been that the the nfl players don't have the power they have power but it, it doesn't work the same way as an nba star's power would uh, the nfl players have more power than they're you know able to flex because of the current cba but they will never, never, ever have the quite the power that an NBA star has on an organization or actually what happens out there on the court or field of play. Uh, but what we've seen over the years, man, and especially, you know, really recently is the NFL star uh, becoming more aware that they don't have that that power that the NBA star does. Uh, this first started happening maybe a few years ago. I started noticing the NFL was, you know, becoming more trade friendly, you know, a long time ago. Uh, most of you guys have been watching the NFL for a long time. You probably remember there weren't a lot of trades. Like when the Champ Bailey, Clinton Portis trade happens, I mean, that that happened and there was no other trade quite like that. You know, I can't even think of another one quite of that magnitude around there. But they, you know, they were few and far in between. They weren't common at all. And if you look at, you know, the past two or three years, I think the Patriots probably started a few years ago just being more willing to trade, kind of looking at, hey, you know, sometimes these draft picks don't work out. Now, draft picks are very valuable, but if you can, you know, turn those into a player, I know my Chiefs are in a situation now, if they can turn some draft picks into Jalen Ramsey, I mean, you got to do that. Uh, so that kind of mindset's been creeping into the NFL. It's always been in the NBA, but it's been kind of creeping into the NFL more, which is good. Uh, and then again, the over the years, the NBA stars have, have flexed their power a lot more and made a lot more money. And so for the NFL players, they may not have the power, but they at least see that they do have leverage and just they are assets. Like they are out there, they are winning games, they're out there producing, they're getting the stats, they're, they're, they're putting it all out there, they're putting it all on the line. So they do know that they have leverage in that way. And we first started to see it with the running backs, which clearly, you know, they have the most risk out there. They have the shortest lifespan, you know, they're, they come into the league ready to go, you know, they're, they're ready to do it. So they're physically ready. So you've seen some of those guys hold out in the rookie deals to get their money. Um, but now we've been seeing guys like the Quest trades. I mean, we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, Clowney uh, getting traded in the, the, the Tunsil. We got uh, Ramsey requesting trades, everything that now um, Brown, you know, <laughs> did his own thing. But we've seen over the years, just players, uh, over the last couple of years, players are voicing their frustrations and getting out of a situation or teams, uh, you know, being more lenient about letting some of these NFL players go. So. I kind of want to open it up to you guys. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I'm one person that believes that players do need more power. You know, a sport like football, again, it's different than the NBA. They're never going to have the same power as the NBA star. Um, but they do they do have some some power, and you see them flexing that a lot more. I'm hoping that in the next CBA that they can figure out guaranteed contracts. That's not easy to do in NFL because of all the injuries and, you know, guys – you know, three years later, an NFL player can be completely different. No matter how good someone is, three years later, you have no idea where that, that player will be in his career. That's just kind of how the NFL works. So how do you do that with guaranteed contracts? It's very tough, um, but it, it can be figured out in ways and incentives that, you know, if everyone just comes in with the mind, we got to get this done and take care, really take care of the players. Like taking care of the owners is not the priority. Like taking care of the players, you know, that's, that really is where the focus should be, especially in a sport like football. Again, those guys are, are risking it all out there. You know, and I think that's part of the reason why uh, you see guys, you know, requesting trades. Look at someone like Jalen Rampley. I mean, that guy, he's as competitive as anybody, you know. So they had a good year in Jacksonville. But other than that, they've been losing. And he can't take that no more. He's out there. Yeah, he's a DB, but he's out there, you know, risking it all. When you get in the mindset of a football game, you know, that's tough. And to keep losing like that for someone like him that, you know, thinks he's the best player out there every game. You know, that can end up being a lot. So I see where he's, he's coming from. I see where some of these other guys are coming from. But let me know what you guys think. Just something I've been kind of thinking about. You know, I'm a big NFL, NBA fan. Getting close to the NBA season. I'll have some videos uh, coming out as we get as we get closer to that. But what do you guys think about, you know, the NFL star power? You know, players flexing their leverage, you know, compared to the NBA star. And, you know, how it all fits in comparison. So, all right, y'all.